The desperate search intensifying tonight for a convicted murderer who escaped from a prison in Pennsylvania. Police reporting at least four confirmed sightings and say they are closing in on him. And now a helicopter flying overhead is playing the voice of his mother. ABC's Jay O'Brien on the scene with her urgent message. Tonight, the desperate plea from the mother of convicted murderer Danilo Cavalcante. <laughs> Recorded in his native Portuguese and played over helicopter loudspeakers, urging the escaped inmate to give up after five days on the run. The stakes only getting higher. If he is not actively surrendering, deadly force is authorized. Authorities are zeroing in on a two-mile area. Police say the 34-year-old, sentenced to life in prison for fatally stabbing his ex-girlfriend in front of her children, was spotted for the fourth time Sunday afternoon. It was uh, a trooper, actually, that observed him uh, in some distance. Uh, gave chase but was unable to get to him before he disappeared. Tonight, a local resident tells ABC News that a man fitting Cavalcante's description broke into his home late Friday night. He says he heard a noise and then improvised. I looked over to my left, saw the light switch, and I flicked it on and off like four times and then paused. And then he flicked the light on and off a few times below. So I wanted him to know that I know that he's down there. And he responded saying, yes, I'm down here. Ryan Drummond tells us he made sure his three kids were safe and his wife called 911. He says he's nearly certain it was Cavalcante who he saw slip out the door. He says police arrived quickly. I was surprised that they weren't able to get him at that point because they did have the canine units and there was a large number of police officers with flashlights in the backyard. Drummond says Cavalcante just stole food, snap peas, peaches, and apples. A shaken community now waiting for this escaped inmate to slip up. I intend to stress him. I want to push him hard. He'll make mistakes. He is desperate. He does not want to be caught. He has very little to lose at this point. And let's get right to Jay O'Brien. He joins us live from Westchester, Pennsylvania. Jay, officials urging residents to stay alert. School is back in session tomorrow after the Labor Day holiday. What are officials saying about whether it's safe for students to go back to school? Rachel, local schools will open tomorrow with an increased security presence. As for this prison behind me where Cavalcanti escaped, the DA's office says the facility is aware of its vulnerabilities and taking efforts to address those. But it's been five days, Rachel, and officials have still not said exactly how Cavalcanti broke out. Rachel. Still so many questions. All right, Jay, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.